So um, <clears throat> I thought I'd do a quick review on the newer, uh, these are the Lark Movement bottles. Um, I've actually done a, a prior review of their original bottle and I'll put a link in the bottom of this video. Um, what I've got here is the new, this is the 32 ounce uh, size bottle that they're doing uh, and this is the uh, 24 ounce, both of which actually hold a little bit more water than the previous bottle that they have. Um, the main feature of the Lark bottles which makes them different from almost everybody else is on top here. Um, and basically you can recharge you can recharge the Lark bottles here with a little USB cable that comes with the bottle. And then what's built inside here, which is kind of cool, is inside this lid is an LED, a UV LED. Um, now you can't turn it on when it's outside the bottle, but uh, this little LED light is a UV light and will go on every two hours inside the bottle um, for either one or three minutes and the UV light actually sterilizes the bottle. So if you've got water in this for a long, long time, what it does is it just keeps re-purifying um, re the water that's already in the bottle. So what I find is that I can have this for quite a few weeks with the same water in it and it still doesn't smell bad, which is really, really cool. Um, the, um, so th that's something that most people aren't kind of used to with this kind of bottle. So. Um, what I've got here is two different colours. Uh, one of them is the obsidian black, which is the bigger one. That's what the coral pink is the other one. They um, come with, slightly different from the previous bottle, this kind of silicon sleeve at the bottom. So you have this still, this kind of anodized finish they do on the top that's metal, but they now have this kind of much more tactile silicon sleeve on the bottom. Um, from a user point of view, I would say this one's great for just throwing into a backpack. Uh, this one's great for a little bit of a longer all day kind of adventure. Um, I find with the charge, um, with the light, it'll probably last about a month. So I found it lasts about three to four weeks before it needs a charge. It only takes about an hour to charge them up as well. And you can set it, it'll go off about every two hours um, to re-purify the water. And then if you have it in normal mode, it does about a minute, which is fine. If you have it on adventure mode, it'll do three minutes of purifying, um, which means you're kind of doubly, triply sure that um, it's sterilized everything within the water itself. The bottles are made of stainless steel, so they're pretty heavy duty. The difference between these and the previous Lark bottles is the previous Lark bottles had a double wall feature, which means they held in heat if you put a hot liquid in and they kept liquids cool if you had a cool liquid. Um, these are single ward steel, so one of the reasons they're kind of called the movement is they're much lighter but they're not going to hold heat or keep liquid cool in the same way as the previous bottle. Um, but the good news is that they come in um, quite a few bucks cheaper than the original as well. Um, that's about it really, I mean that just kind of gives you a pretty good look at the, the new one. So a little bit cheaper than the old one, um, much more water carrying capacity. Um, the electronics are a little bit more waterproofed right the way down to the actual USB um, charging port as well so that has a waterproof rating now which is great so even if you get water on this or even into this recharge a bit it's still really tolerant of that um, so basically a little bit more storage capacity um, and a few little extra features built on the last one the only thing you're really sacrificing from the original art bottles is the ability to keep water either cool or warm but other than that um, this is a really good improvement so there you go just thought I'd give you a quick look uh, that's the new Lark movement water bottles